Yeah, first of all, I want to give all praise to you, how about Shimmy Al Shai, and um, come in again uh, uh, with a quick lesson. Well, it's not going to be uh, quick um, because this is a topic that a lot of people get confused with. Now, I'm going to jump right into it. And um, again, thanks to the people that put uh, comments on, uh, you know, the videos that I do. Really, it's the videos that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai does. All right, Yahweh is God's name. Yahweh Shai is His Son's name in the ancient Hebrew. Those names are powerful. Like Acts four and twelve tells you, uh, we need to be saved. There's no name under heaven that we might be saved. All right. So anyone saying like IUIC that you don't need to know the name of God is basically teaching wickedness because. Even in human life, you know, everyone needs to know someone's name. You know, you you you, you know, you don't call your boss oi or all right manager. You you call them by their name. And that's that's what um Yahweh Bashim Yao Shai wants from us. He wants us to reverence that name. And in, in the day where his son comes back and we're gonna be put at the top and all these other nations are gonna be at the bottom. He, everyone's going to know his name, okay? Um, but this is about the Gentiles. Now, I'm going to make it quite clear, and I'm going to do it, in, do it in parts, because this subject, you have Christians. First of all, again, I say this again. And when I say Christians, whether you're white, black, whatever, if you have been reading the Bible all your life and you have not deciphered that this Bible is talking about us, the blacks that went through slavery, Hispanics and Native American Indians, those three racial groups make up the 12 tribes of Israel. If you cannot decipher that this book is about us, what makes you think anything else you've been taught in those harlot houses called churches is true? That's a basic. This book is about the 12 tribes of Israel. Who are they today? If you cannot decipher that, then what makes you think everything else you've learned in these churches is right? And one of the things that our people have been taught in church is that the Gentiles are non-Israelites and so forth. We're going to clear all that up. Apostle Paul went to Asia Minor and Europe to uh, give the word to the Gentiles. And those Gentiles were Israelites. All right. They were Israelites who had the mindset, customs, mentality of a Gentile, a non-Israelite, all right? I'm, I'm going to show you that. I'm going to show you that. Now, this is Matthew 13, chapter 13, um, verse 9. Who have ears to hear, let him hear. The disciples came and said unto him, talking about Yahushai, why speakest unto them in parables? And he answered and said, because is given unto you, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. You see that? So Yahushai did not speak plainly, he spoke in parables, in riddles. And he said to the disciples, you are going to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but the multitude, thousands of people that were listening to him, he said to them it's not given. That is a clue to show you there's mysteries in this Bible and only a remnant of our people are going to know those mysteries, be taught those mysteries, and accept those mysteries. One of the things these uh, Christians, especially you, you Hispanics and you blacks, do not understand is that the Gentiles were Israelites, all right? That Apostle Paul was going to. We're going to clear that up uh, uh, um, very quickly. Now, I just wrote this down. This is on Wikipedia, so you can go and look it up. You put the word Gentile in Wikipedia, it, it will say this. From Latin, gentilis, commonly means a non-Jew. Other groups that claim Israelite heritage sometimes use the term to describe outsiders, Israelite foreigners, okay? That's in Wikipedia. Go and look it up yourself, okay? So it doesn't, when you see the word Gentile, it doesn't always mean a non-Israelite. That's what you've been taught in church. And there's no, there's nothing wrong with that. We fell away as a people. And this devil made us uh, Catholics. 
with the Spanish when they conquered our people, the uh, Mexicans, uh, uh, the Puerto Ricans, and so forth. And he made you blacks, you uh, uh, um, West Africans, you African Americans, he made you Christians. And he taught you his doctrine. God loves everyone. Servants obey your masters and so forth. The man that is raping your kids, killing your people, slaughtering you and enslaving you, he is not going to educate you on the mysteries of this Bible and the correct teaching. So once slavery ended, our people continued to go to church. All right. And when they were in church, they learned what the white man wanted them to know. And to this day, the white man's doctrine, our people are following. Now, there's a book that I'm reading. I think I've, I think I've mentioned this before. This is an excellent book, and I'm still reading it. I need to read it more often. Plantation Church, How African-American Religion Was Born in Caribbean Slavery. And you see that? It's got a picture of Jesus. Because our Lord and Savior is called Yahawashai. That's the garbage that our people were taught. All right? So one of the key things to know about the whole issue of Gentiles is that it was our people. All right? They, they had the customs. For example, before you knew you was an Israelite, you was calling yourself an African-American. You were calling yourself a Mexican. Okay? You were in a Gentile state of mind. Now the Lord said he's going to bring, stir up your remembrance of who you are. Now we're coming back to that. We now know that we're Israelites. All right? And we know the reason why we're at the bottom, which is not keeping the laws that is in this Bible, now, I'm, now, this is a Bible dictionary, right? Compact Bible dictionary by Zondervan. Now, let me try and get the page where it says Gentiles. One second. Because it's hard. I've got the camera, but, you know, I'm kind of doing two things at once. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, C, D, E, F, G. One second. So, this is very important. And that's why... The Bible says, blessed is he that readeth. Things like the Bible dictionary or concordance, these are excellent tools, all right, in knowing the Bible. Now, this is uh, the word Gentile, all right? Now, it's a bit blurry, but I'll try and focus it. Uh, let's see. What I'll do, I'll just read it for you anyway. But you can get a Bible dictionary and look it up yourself, all right? All right, but I'll read it for you. Gentiles, nation, people. Usually, it means a non-Israelite people. Now, did you see they said usually it means a non-Israelite people? All right, now we're, we're just going to get straight into it. All right, because our people, it was a prophecy that will be scattered from one end of the earth to the other. Now, that happened in the Arab slave trade, the transatlantic slave trade. But before that, we had people... Um, who were in the Roman Empire, you know, in Europe, in Asia Minor, and so forth. These people were not in um, in Jerusalem. A lot of them didn't even know that the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, came. So Paul did a mighty good work. The Lord put the Spirit upon Paul to go and tell our people, all right? And most of our people were living in places like Greece. So if you're living in somewhere um, like Greece, you're going to call yourself a Greek, all right? That's why he says there's no f difference between the Jew or the Greek. But anyway, let's get into it. I've got my notes here. Gentiles are Israelites. Let's go to Acts chapter 6, verse 1. Okay. But this is very important. And remember, and I always say this in my videos, two-thirds of our people are not going to get this truth. They're going to be put to death. The Lord said, Isaiah 6 and 9, he's going to blind them. All right. Now, when I make videos, you go on the comment boards. The the most shameful and disgraceful thing that you have of our people in this nation is if if you're not into this truth, that's fine. All right. If you don't believe in it, that's fine. Do what you want. But know this: you blacks, you Hispanics, you Native Americans have been doing exactly what you want to do, rather than what the Lord uh, Yahweh tells you to do. And look where you are now. Our women are whores, the majority of them. Our men are pussies, all right? They're not uh, masculine men. They're effeminate. Our men do not look after their kids. 
You could talk about the black woman, the Hispanic woman all day, but they would be in order if our men were in order. Because the men, any civilization and nation of people, it runs, it gets run, uh, whether it's a good civilization or bad, it's mainly by the man. The man is the leader. Right now, in our, in our, in our people, the women are the leader. Okay? The, the, the women are in the household. The man's not there. So a lot of our people don't, you, you have to understand one thing. If you don't get this truth, don't worry about it, okay? Two-thirds of our people are not going to get this truth. That's why they're going to be destroyed. And I did a video of, on Jacob's Trouble. I did one a few months ago. I did a second part, all right? Jacob's Trouble 2. You go on my channel, you'll see it there. Uh, there's a tab called Great Tribulation. Watch it. That's what's coming, all right? And a lot of people thought that this economic collapse was going to be last year, but the Lord's had mercy on us and given us a bit of time. I guarantee you this year it's going to happen. Okay? So this is Acts chapter 6 verse 1. And in those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there rose murmurings of the Grecians, Greeks, against the Hebrews. Greeks, Greeks, Grecians, against the Hebrews. Because their widows were neglected in the daily administration. Now, I always talk about the Bible blue letter. If you put this scripture, Acts 6 and 1, into the Bible blue letter, the word for Grecians is Hellenist. All right? Now, let's see what Hellenist means. That's why you have to go back into the Hebrew and the Greek. Now, these Christians, especially our people, they don't do that. So, that's why when they see the Israelites like uh, Great Millstone or any other camps, saying that salvation is for us, they argue against it because, number one, they've got a slave mentality, and number two, they really believe that salvation is for everyone. You know? Oh, you know, the Gentiles are going to be grafted in and all this stuff. It's not their fault. They've just not been teached, taught correctly. That's the main thing. Now, let me get this word Hellenist. Hang on. Because it's very, very important. That we do our own research. Now this is the Bible dictionary again. And as I said. Acts 6 and 1. The word Grecians. It would say Hellenist. Alright. Let me try and focus this camera. So you guys can see. Uh, yes. Over there. Sorry it's a bit blurry. But let me just read it to you anyway. I think that's, that's the best thing I, should, I, I could do. All right. You'll see the word Hellenist come up. Sorry, this camera's blurry. I can't uh, seem to focus it. There you go. Hellenist. It's over here. All right. Hellenists. Jews who made Greek their tongue. And with, with it often adopted Greek ideas and practices. You see that? Jews who made Greeks their tongue. So when Paul was saying there's no difference between a Jew and the Greek, he's talking about our people who were in the mindset of the Greeks because they lived in uh, the Greco-Roman Empire. Okay? So this is the way you need to read the Bible, uh, brothers and sisters. You have to read it with wisdom and understanding. The Lord gave us pastors according to his heart, like the apostles of Great Millstone. And you'll, you will be a wise person to listen to them. All this business about the way they talk, they're rough. Men of God don't speak that way. Why do you think our prophets were killed by our people? Because they spoke sternly because our people are wicked. Okay? Now, once you find that out, that the Grecians, for example, in Acts 11 and 20, Acts uh, uh, 11 and 20, you'll see the word Grecians as well. And it will say Hellenist. So we know what the Hellenists are. Now let's prove that our people were scattered. All right. Because a Paul, all his letters, for example, were to the saints. Now who are the saints? All right, let's try and look at 1 Corinthians. Let's go uh, to 1 Corinthians. Paul. This is 1 Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 1. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through, through, 